What if we take all the money and share it equally to everyone? This idea may sound crazy, unimaginable to most of us. To be honest, we've all thought of this idea once in our lives. This may be the most ideal scenario for everyone to grow up in the world. We all want poverty to be wiped out, equality in education, and better healthcare facilities for everyone. So here are our assumptions for what would happen if we equally distribute all the money in the world. Make your guess here. Your guess may be wrong or right. The global supply of money is about 80 trillion. So if we take it all, and that means you are the richest man in the world, everyone would have nothing in their banks. Now, if we distribute it to 7 billion people in the world, everyone would receive about $10,499. As a consequence, if you have less, you would gain more, and if you had more, you would lose. If there is no motivation, struggle, or suffering, you will get nothing. Within months, all that industrialization and work will be stopped because all the workers work for money and if they would get their equal share, why would they still be working for others? There will be no rendering of high class services, no production and consumption. There will be one thing for sure, that will be the high demand of all things, but low supply. Other than money, if wealth of the world is to be equally divided among 7 billion people, this manipulates fundamental principle, and that is if everyone is to be provided with equal resources, money will become worthless. This leads us to a study that the economic disparity is not just having the money, but it is actually based on how we devalue others for our own gain. The lifestyle of billions of people will get a new boost. For those billions of people, money is unimaginably a true treasure. Studies and researchers over the years have shown that whenever an influx of cash will be given to poor people, most of them will make good use of it. They would spend the money on basic necessities and for the better future of their children. Poor people are expected to be stupid. They're not. They're just poor and they want to live equally like others. If you want to become rich, you need two things. First, financial education, and second, financial execution. Person A is to be given about $50,000, and the same amount of money is to be given to person B. Person A, who has financial education, will put his money to use, and person B, with no financial education, would spend the money in one go. Now you can see the importance of financial education, and if we as a society were to distribute all money equally, we would all need some financial education. Unfortunately, this would not last long. Some people would do nothing and their share of $10,499 will be eaten up really fast. While the rest of people will make good use of their money and get rich, some people would spend all their money on garbage and become bankrupt. Within the span of 10 years, this will eventually lead to economic disparity and once again the world will return to how it was before. This is meant to happen because you cannot distribute the work ethic, ideas, and intelligence among the people. But humans are greedy, and everyone in this environment will still want to reach the top in no time. Some of the more clever money holders will obtain all of the people's money. As they say, behind every great fortune, there is a crime. Luck often helps people get to the top, but ruthlessness is for sure. After the money will become worthless, people will no longer be desiring for more and more money. Instead of this, they would focus on the new things which other people cannot buy. If we take example of cars, then they did not have enough money to buy these things. But now that everyone will have increased purchasing power, fierce competitions will grow and the next thing to happen will be increased demand of cars that would cause the price of cars to go up drastically. Who said life is fair? It has always been unfair. Some are rich because they work hard, while some are just poor because they don't put any work and they struggle. Bill Gates once said, if you are born poor, it is not your mistake. But if you die poor, that is your mistake. The only way to reach at the top is to focus on your own goals, stay motivated, and work hard. So what are you waiting for? Get up and start working now. There are many disadvantages for having a cash in our hands all the time and governments and businessmen will not be able to cope with this scenario. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the little bell so you can see our latest videos. Thanks for watching.